In this episode, we'll create a fluted vase using lofts and a center line. We'll have a little more sculptural control over this, and it'll be a good introduction to, well, let's call it sculpting for the time being. Let's do one more project with the traditional modeling tools. This time, let's make a vase, and we'll start a sketch, make a nice tall vase shape. Now offset it, finish off the top, come down to the bottom, make sure it's closed off. Okay, not perfect, but it'll do to start. Let's draw a spline that sort of mirrors the shape of the vase. We'll probably have to come back in here and adjust this several times, but this will be good for now. Let's do a little bit of tweaking right here. That'll get us started. Good enough. So stop sketch. Let's zoom out here. We'll rotate the basic vase, or revolve the basic vase. Now comes the fun part. We're going to create some plane along paths. So if you come up here, construct, Plane along path. Click the tool or click the click the path. You'll be able to move the plane along the path. I'm going to start out with three. Notice that the beginning is distance zero. Let's come up here. Oops. Let's come up here and make a second one. Plane along path. Click the path. We'll put that at about 0.5. Do the same thing. Construct. Plane along path, click the path, and move it to the end. Now, we're going to create some profiles. So we have three working planes here. Now we're going to create a sketch on each one of these. Let's start with a rectangle. Ask for the working plane. Select that one. Let's draw a nice skinny rectangle. Stop sketch for this one. Let's do a an ellipse. Okay, stop sketch. Go back to 3D. And for this one, let's do an ellipse, but let's go this way instead. And stop sketch. Okay, now these purple lines, they're useful, but we don't need them right now. So let's go ahead and... Delete that, delete that. Now for the fun part, we actually create the loft. So we have profiles and rails. Select that. That. And notice it's already starting to build a shape. And that. And you'll notice. It's already starting to build an interesting shape here. What we want it to do is follow, not rails, so we don't want two or more rails controlling the way it moves. We just want a center line. So center line, and select, select the spline. Okay, that's kind of an interesting shape. All right, let's turn the main body back on here. Okay, we're not quite touching in a couple of places. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Turn this off. And edit the sketch. Okay, I got a little sloppy there, as you might have noticed, but uh, it, it sort of works. So, let's, let's go ahead and join these. Let's zoom in here. Fill out a couple of things. 
and let's create a circular pattern. Go back to home. Yeah, now that looks a little more like what I wanted. And on this, I think I want one more fillet here. Oops. <laughs> Let's try it with numbers. Okay, that looks all right. So you notice we have pretty complex shapes here. We transition from square. It's kind of hard to see. But we transition from square to an ellipse, to an ellipse going the other direction. And you know what? I think if we if we render this, let's go over here to render. And you'll see, maybe be able to see kind of what I was thinking of. Let's choose faces. And, well, I have gold there, so let's go ahead. I want to have like a little gold rim. You know those, that old style um, gold plating that they used to put on some glassware? I want that. And let's see here. Glass, green, I want on, okay, but I want red on these parts here. While I play around with the rendering in the background, let's review what we've done in the last three videos. We've created a basic mechanical knob. We've created a slightly more sculptural version using Revolve. We've used Loft to create a much more organic shape. Now, what if I told you you could do all of those things, but with some special powers thrown in? I'm talking about sculpting mode. You can do the same thing. You can extrude, you can revolve, you can sweep, you can loft, but when you're finished, you can also push, pull, much more sculptural control over the objects. You can also use them as a standard model. So you can cut, combine, do all kinds of things with it. And those techniques are what we're going to be exploring in the next video. So be sure to come back and watch that one. Be sure to check out the Instructable that goes along with this series of videos. And always subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, and happy making.